Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an XC banner using Canva.com. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, don't forget to subscribe today. I do upload weekly videos to help you build an impactful XC business. So don't forget to subscribe today. Now, if you're looking for an inexpensive way to make an easy banner to upload to your Etsy shop, I recommend using Canva.com. It's very simple to use. You could do pretty much any type of banner you want. You could upload your own photos as well. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple different styles of banners to kind of inspire you, give you an idea um, that you could start using and implementing to make your own banner for your Etsy shop. Now, when you create a banner for Etsy shop, they give you different styles, but if you're trying to just upload your own banner, you have two different styles you could do. You could do the big banner, which is 1200 by 300 pixels, or you could do a mini banner, which is 1200 by 160 pixel. I prefer the, the big banner. It just looks nicer to me, but you could do either one, whatever you prefer. In this video, I'm going to do the big banner to kind of give you an idea. So all you have to do once you log into Canva, you click on cre create design, um, custom dimensions, and you put the size. So it's 1200 width by 300 height pixels. Create design. And this is the, the XC size right here for your banner. Now, when you browse into Canva, they already give you some banners that you could use. These are all different banners um, that you could use. So if I wanted to use this banner, I could just click on it and just change it to my XC store name. And I could change the font to be smaller if I need to. And it's really simple to use. You could change the color um, if you need to as well by just clicking here and then just selecting the color. These are my branding colors here. So I could technically put my branding color if I wanted to. Um, you could do different ones here. So these are all different banners that are already pre-made that all you have to do is pretty much just put your store name, maybe put your tagline if you like to as well. And you could easily also change the color. So if you wanted this to be a different color, you could just come here, play with the different colors. You could actually put in a code for a particular color, color that you have in mind. But as you can see, it's very simple. You could just change it um, and make it your own. You could change the photo. If you like this banner, you could just go here and upload a photo that you currently have of your store and just drag it there to replace. Um, or you could just simply um, use a photo from Canva by searching for something else. So it just really depends on what you want to do, but they do give you all these different templates that you could use. Um, all you have to do is go in there and change um, the wording. You could change the color. You could change the font. This is a simple one, but effective. So if you're looking for something just to update your store right away, just to kind of get started, you could pretty much come in here, do one really quick just to have something up. And as you start building up your store, start deciding on your branding colors, what colors you want, what kind of style you want, you could always change it later on. But I just wanted to show you guys, you have options in here. And there's so many, as you can see, um, you can use something like this. If you have baby wear, you could use something like this. These photos here, if they have like the watermark, uh, means that you will have to pay for them. It's usually like a dollar, but you could always just go to photos, search for baby or whatever you're searching for, and you could just add a free one. And there you go. You could just replace it with a free one. So you don't necessarily have to pay because they do have a lot of free ones um, automatically that you could just use for your, for your design. But look how cute that is. And then you could just change this to your store name, maybe your tagline on the bottom. But it's very, very simple. They have so many different ones that you could do. Um, it's as simple as click and drag. So you're not going to be here forever trying to customize it, change the colors or anything. Now, let's say you wanted to use um, this 
um, font, but you want a different picture, you could go to photos and you could kind of play with them. You could go to, let's say flowers and you could look through the flowers and see what style would look good for, for the banner. You could kind of look through them. Um, you could do this and if you wanted to stretch it out, all you have to do is just stretch out the corner and try to fit it all the way through the banner. And you could just move this to the right and boom, you have a banner. And it's actually pretty cute. Even though we're cutting off this part, it doesn't look bad. And then you would change this to your store name. You could put a tagline on the bottom if you needed to. But that's a banner right there. It's very, very cute. If you wanted to do something different with different flowers, um, you could just kind of look around and see what flowers might look good with this banner. Maybe this one here. Let's try this one real quick. So you stretch it out so it could cover the full banner. Oh, even that's cute. Look how pretty that looks. This is a banner right here already. So you could put your store name here. You could put a tagline. You could even put your, your social media handles, your website, or hours of operation. But these are two banners already that I created within minutes, as you guys could see. And you could play with this. You could do flowers. You could do any any type of elements you want. This is another one here that might look, might look cute. Let's try it real quick just to do different ones. And here we go. I kind of like the other two a little bit more, but this one doesn't look too bad either. You could always make this a little bit smaller so it could fit. So all you will have to do is just highlight it, 45, and there we go. And then we'll push this to this over here if you wanted to. But I do, I think I, my favorite one is the middle one. And this one is really pretty. Even that one is pretty. Um, but this is how simple it is to create a banner. Um, and you just have to play with it. See, you know, what stands out to you. Um, I will make it very simple and simplistic. If you put something that has too much of a, too much color in the background, um, it will get um, lost. But then what you could also do is put like a layer on top of it and then put the texting on top of that. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So let's say I wanted to do, I wanted to use this background here for, for whatever reason. As you can see, it's a bit dark. So what you could do is put the banner, kind of play with it up to where you like it. Um, then what you want to do is position it to the back. And then what you do is you go to elements, you grab a block. And you stretch that block in the middle like this. What I would do is probably make it a tab smaller. Then I will make this, you could change the color. I would probably do white. And then I will put this, position this back. And then here's the title. And you could even um, lower the opacity, like make it a little bit more transparent. And you could do this. So you could kind of do something like this if you see a background that you like, but the background might be a little bit um, busy, this is the best way to do it. Um, it's just adding that extra block on the top and doing it this way. But as you can see, we have now four different designs. If you were in jewelry, then you would do the same thing. You know, if you're, if you sell jewelry, then you just go to jewelry, look up different stuff. And from here, you could kind of like do the same thing. You could play with different elements and see what works for you. This is a very pretty one here that I like. So you could do maybe something like this, push this to the back. So, oops. And then kind of do something like that. And that's really pretty. Um, it's like two rings. You could change this to a different color if you needed to, like if you wanted to do black and then do the text of this white. You could do that if you wanted to do something a little bit different. You could always um, remove the, up, um, make it a little bit more transparent. And there you go. So these are the, the simple ways that you could just do a banner, throw it up, uh, make something very simplistic. A lot of times people take a photo, they try to stretch it out. 
then it looks grainy. It doesn't look that great. This is a simple way that you could just create a banner today without having to do that much work. And once you get your storm a little bit more established and you feel like, you know, you, you kind of have maybe more professional pictures or maybe you have a brand that you, you know, a style that you want to follow, then you'll be able to go ahead and, and make those additional changes if you need to, um, afterwards, but at least this will get you in the right start of creating something for your Etsy store using Canva, which is free. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about banners, don't forget to leave a comment below. Don't forget to show me some love by liking this video. And thank you guys for watching.